let's talk about how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator for account-based marketing. Typically, this is where I would start when I'm doing account-based marketing. It's going to help you do the bare minimum that you would do with account-based marketing, which would be something like cold emails. Uh, but it's also going to be very helpful for advertising, creating custom lists that you can import into Facebook, you can import into LinkedIn advertising, all sorts of cool things you could do with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, the place where I like to start here is with the account list. So I start with the account list and then later I get to the specific leads or personas within those accounts. And what we're gonna do is an advanced search. So I'm gonna select all filters. Now with the new interface, what you're gonna notice is not only that there are cool new options, but that it defaults to lead. We don't wanna do that. We wanna select again account. And uh, one of the exciting new features here is being able to specify a specific revenue range of companies, which is great. You used to have to use headcount. Uh, now for this example, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna use headcount here and we're gonna specify certain headcount for companies. And there are other variables that you could put in here for companies. You could put in uh, the growth rate, for example. You could put in the number of followers that they have on LinkedIn. But I would say that a couple that are going to be particularly interesting uh, will be the technologies they use, particularly if you're selling software, uh, but most importantly, the industry. So I'm going to select here computer software, and I'm also going to select internet because these tend to be somewhat related companies, software companies. So we have a target list of 36,000 accounts, companies, uh, which is pretty good, but um, for example purposes, I'm gonna say that's a bit too large. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the companies that are too small. And now we have about 10,000 companies. So perhaps a more manageable size to deal with. And what I would do is either hire a virtual assistant to compile the account list for me or just do it myself. So I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna to save to list and I'm gonna create a new list and I'm gonna call this list test three or you might call it internet and software companies, something like that. And uh, I'm gonna hit select all again and you can see that I'm on the second page now and I'm also gonna save these accounts to uh, test three. So it showed you there that there were 25, now there should be both 50. So uh, you would basically go through and add all of those companies to your account list. So let's just see how that happened here. So I'm gonna go into account list and I see here that there are 50. So there's 25 in the first page, 25 in the second page. I now have 50 companies in my target account based marketing list, which is excellent. Now the key is you don't really want to just target the companies, you want to target specific people within those companies. So maybe it's the C-suite, maybe it's the IT department, it really depends on uh, what, what it is that you're selling and who the personas are that you're targeting. So now what I'm going to do is a lead list. So the lead list is going to be filtered based on leads that belong to the specific account list that I just made. So you can see here, I have some various account lists. Uh, so I'm gonna include test three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna specify um, specific criteria of the personas we're going after. So right now there are 280,000 personas um, associated with those companies. That's way too many people for a, a functional uh, account-based marketing uh, campaign. So we might do something like we're gonna um, go after the director of IT, so director of information technology, and then their information technology manager. Uh, we could go after IT, senior director of information technology. So job titles would be a very, very useful thing to go after. You could also specify seniority. So let's say director, uh, C-suite, which is CXO, maybe the owner, maybe the partner, VP level. And you could even just leave out job title altogether and just go after a seniority. Then you wouldn't need to specify uh, individual job titles. You can put in um, the amount of years that they've been in the company. You can put in uh, the industry specifically of that lead if you wanted to, schools, the geography, all sorts of useful information, but I would say that the 
the job titles and the seniority are probably going to be the most useful for you. So uh, by adding in seniority and job title, you can see that I've only gotten 43 personas. That's a bit too small. So I'm going to start uh, deleting the job titles and let's, let's try something else. Let's try function. So I'm going to include the information technology function. Okay, so this is a much more manageable list. Two and a half thousand people that are in the function of IT and belong to director and above, essentially. So what I would do is I would start, um, as I did with the account list, select all, and I'm going to save them to a list. Only in this case, it's a lead list, not an account list. And I'm going to call this uh, IT director and above. And then once again, you would go to uh, the pagination here and you would add all of those people to your uh, new account list or your new lead list, excuse me. So I would go into the lead list. Here I have 50. Now, this in and of itself is useful. You have this stored in LinkedIn, you have it in the sales navigator, your sales team can, can monitor uh, these individuals and their activity. Uh, but one of the most useful purposes you have here is to be able to extract the emails that you want uh, from these people. And the way I do that is I use an extension called scrap.io. You can get this and you pay for credits essentially to be able to extract and download emails from LinkedIn. Now, once you've installed scrap.io, it is an extension that's gonna work with your Chrome. So what I would do here is click this extension. And now it's gonna pop up like this. So what I'm gonna do is I need to create another list. So this is what the list is going to be in scrap.io. So again, I might just say director IT and above, something like that. And I'm going to search for email addresses and I'm only going to save leads where emails are found. So not every, everyone on LinkedIn is going to have their email. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go through all the pages. In this case, there's only uh, two pages. And we're going to launch the email finder. And what Scrap.io is going to do is it's going to go through and extract the emails for those individuals in our target list. Now what we're going to do is log in to scrap.io. And now we can see that we have this list that we created called director IT and above. We have these uh, personas in here, these individuals. We're going to hit download and we're going to download as a CSV. And what that's going to give us is uh, some important details about the individuals that we're targeting. But most importantly, it's going to give us their emails. And then once we have that email list, what we can do is we can import that into something like Lemlist, which is a cold email tool. And we can start sending out cold emails that say something like, hi, first name, uh, I am blah, blah, and I'd like to answer any questions you have related to X. Or what we could do is we could take that uh, email list that we generated, we could import it into Twitter, we could import it into Facebook, we could import it into LinkedIn advertising, and we can run ads at the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, and the bottom of the funnel, all based on the uh, account list and the lead list that we compiled using LinkedIn Sales Navigator.